And joining us from Washington is Solon Simmons, a professor of conflict analysis and resolution at George Mason University. He specializes in U.S. politics. Uh, conflict resolution. Now, Hillary was uh, looking pretty feisty last night. Yeah, it's a lot of, as they said, there's a, uh, it's a, it's a tough campaign, and I think we're really down to the wire. There's a lot of uncertainty going on right now. And I, we're going to see it heat up in the next couple of days. Okay, talk about the importance of New Hampshire. Uh, it, it's a small state. Uh, it's early days in, in the election process. Why is it so important for the candidates? Well, you know, it's, the U.S. has a funny system of uh, choosing its candidates, and we're really, it has a lot to do with momentum, or what we might call information cascades. So what we're seeing now is that momentum picking up after Iowa. We see Obama is carrying a lot of the momentum into the new polls. We're also seeing Romney is being talked about as falling out of this race, which is a little strange so, because he has been so strong for so long. I think Romney in some ways is, is, is becoming the Al Gore uh, of the Republican Party, mm -hmm. a little bit too stiff, a little bit too wooden for the voters, and they're, they're trying to gravitate towards something a little more meaningful. Okay, you mentioned momentum, and a lot of people paying a lot of attention to Barack Obama since uh, the, the victory in Iowa. How important is the Iowa vote? I mean, in the past, has the person who won in Iowa had success automatically? Not automatically, not at all. And I think there, that should, points out the uncertainty we have still in this race, which makes it very exciting. I mean, the two stories coming out of Iowa, I think, are on the Republican side, the fragmentation of the traditional base. I mean, you think of the Republican Party as a kind of a stool with three legs, foreign policy, economic, social, cultural. And really, the foreign policy having fallen apart, been a little humiliated, uh, those two fragments have broken apart. And on the re Democratic side, we see uh, a reform agenda has taken over. Pay attention to change. You see uh, Obama has this banner, change behind him. Mm -hmm. Everyone is speaking his line. That's very good for Obama. Uh, if, if Edwards would like to actually fight for change, Hillary would like to work for it, but everyone's getting behind change. And that says something to me that Obama is really the person to watch. All right. Um, it seems like everybody is paying attention to Obama. What about Hillary? In the past, she's been uh, regarded as the person with the most money, the most organization. Doesn't she have a, a lot of upside as well? Very much so. And I, I, I would still bet on Hillary in some ways. I mean, I think the stories we're seeing today suggest, can you stop Obama? If Obama wins as he's looking to, to, to in New Hampshire, or I, let's say he might well win in New Hampshire, I think he will be hard to stop. But the machine is very powerful. They're very savvy. And New Hampshire voters are cautious. And I think that they know the Clintons. So we have to be, we, ha we cannot count Clinton out by any measure. Uh, there was a, a recent poll, though, I believe it's the most recent poll, that said Obama was leading in New Hampshire 39% uh, to 29 for mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton. Um, if she yeah. does uh, lose in New Hampshire, what's the next opportunity for her to try to stop this momentum? Well, I think she can do well. That we're going to go out to the West right after um, uh, and, uh, and have a, another primary. Uh, uh, and I think that if she can win out there, she can do well. Also, South Carolina. I mean, South Carolina is also looking good for, for Obama. So, I mean, the, the primary system is, is really different this year, not only that it's been so long, but that it's rearranged. And so I think, uh, I think we really can't say, and that's the uncertainty that's driving it. So people ought to be paying attention. Uh, once we get past the, the month of March, is that when you get a pretty uh, clear idea about who the nominees are going to be? I would think so. I, I would imagine it would happen before that, certainly for the Democrats. I mean, everyone, it, the, all the Democrats are liked. Uh, the Republicans are not. I mean, mm -hmm. in some ways, the Republican Party, uh, it, we can imagine George Bush saying, uh, following Alexander this, the Great and saying, who will inherit the great conservative movement? It should go to the stronger. And right now, we don't know if the stronger will be the social conservatives or the economic conservatives, which have a class divide as well, which is, uh, which is very tenuous. And they were held together by that foreign policy glue. So the fact that that has collapsed really leaves that open. And I don't really know, I don't know how far it'll go, but we have some strong contenders who should be around for quite some time on the Republican Party side. All right, so Lon Simmons from uh, George Mason University, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.